I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So if you missed it, I want to say it might have been like late last year or early this year. Early this year, I did a video where I talked about some of the most overhyped, overrated fragrances that the internet likes to talk about. So I want to do a part two to that because I have definitely smelled more since then. But I also wanted to throw in um, overhyped or things that you might consider overhyped or overrated, but no, like they're actually worth the hype. So if you guys wanna know what those fragrances are, let's go. So the first one is Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. This retails for $140. I feel like this is the definition of yes, girl, give us nothing. Cause that's what I get when I smell it. Like it, and mind you, it's a strong burst of nothing into your face because that's what it's giving. Like when this, you know, you spritz it, hits you right in the face and it settles down. You're like, okay. Where is the smell that I'm looking at? It gives nothing. It's, it's like, you know that those powdery type fragrances, it settles down and you're like, okay, I guess like that's what I'm, okay. You know, I like if, a, if it was possible for a fragrance to just be there and just smell like it's there on you, but you can't really like say what it is that you're smelling, that's what this fragrance would be. I just, I didn't understand it. I like the name, <laughs> I like the name, but um, yeah. Okay, now I know I am definitely going to bother some people with this one. And usually I like things that Tasha recommends, fragrance, makeup, it literally doesn't matter. I usually love everything that she recommends, right? But this fragrance, I saw her talk about it, Jackie, Drea, all that stuff. And I could not wait to smell it. I love the packaging. I think it's beautiful. And at this point, like, let me know if you've guessed what it is before me saying it. But that Billie Eilish perfume, I can't, I just, I can't do it. It's called Eilish, um, I think it retails for like 67 or something like that. I couldn't do it. Mind you, Drea like vlogged the process of me smelling it for the first time so you got my initial reaction. Going into it just based off everything that everyone else has said and keep in mind, I like the gourmand fragrances. I like sweet, um, I like, you know, juicy, but I also like some floral stuff like that, like anything like that. Going into it, just based off what other people had said about it, that's what I thought I would be smelling with this one. Like I would be smell smelling something super sweet. Like I saw people saying, you know, it smelled like vanilla, it smelled like this, so, and I sprayed it and it didn't, it didn't give that. Like at all, I smelled like some sweetness, but nothing to where it would make me want to replace like vanilla 28. It wouldn't want to make me replace vanilla bourbon. It wouldn't want to make me replace, you know, princess. Um, what's the other one by Killian? The one people say that is the one Rihanna. It wouldn't want to make me replace any of that. So again, not saying that that's like a bad sense. It just, I didn't understand the hype. I'm like, it has to be the bottle. It has to just be how the bottle is shaped that y'all are acting like it's the best thing since sliced bread. And the fact that it's a little more affordable because it, like I even let it dry down, waited. Uh, so maybe like the smell would grow on me as it, you know, got aligned with my body chemistry. No, no, I, I feel like after a while I didn't even smell it anymore. But she does have another one that she's coming out with. And even though I didn't really care for that one, I really like the packaging of her fragrances. And that one is a black bottle. So I kind of want to smell that and hopefully I like that one. And yes, I did just say all of that about the fragrance, right? Would I buy the first one if I end up liking the second one? Yes, I would. Just because at that point I need to have the bottle because it's cute. I know that's not logical, but you know, we don't always have to be logical over here, okay? Okay, the next one I feel again is y'all just like the packaging of these fragrances. And I'm not gonna lie, that is what made me want to smell it. It is the Carolina Herrera Good Girl perfume. This retails for $103. Beautiful packaging. Like I saw a girl on TikTok, she had a, the whole collection. I didn't even know they, they had like multiple ones of it, but they're all shaped in like different, uh, they're all um, different colored shoes, heels and whatnot. Very cute, right? I smelled it. It get, mm, you gotta choose your words carefully because people go hard for the fragrances that they love. Um, I smelled it and it, it smelled like the typical Florence fragrance that you, when people still read magazines, you know, they had little inserts of perfume and you would open it up and, and smell it. And sometimes like a, 
rub it against yourself so you can smell like it too and you know how all of those inserts smelled exactly the same that's what this smelled like if you know what those inserts smell like it smells like your typical it could be literally any like floral fragrance of a perfume like okay and i'm not really like the biggest fan of florals to begin with so for you to be a more floral scent like you really have to wow me and it did not at all i think if anything like the smell kind of offended <laughs> when I smelled it like okay 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 and the last one I have is the Prada candy this retails for $134 I have seen this all over the place it's always been one that I've wanted to smell just because I feel like at this point like it's considered an OG like before especially before like people really started like talking talking about it on social media before you saw all these these are the fragrances that you need for the fall that you need for the summer that you need you know to attract whoever you're trying to attract that you need to you know have self-love before it because right now especially right now like fragrance is really becoming like that new you know like makeup influencer type thing that and skincare um i feel like you still always saw this like going back you probably saw it on your mom's dresser like just an og type fragrance and for some reason i never smelled it and like i said i like you know sweet it's called product candy the packaging is cute all that so i finally smelled that thing in sephora right and i'm like I just want to know like what am I missing what am I not getting out of this that other people are because maybe it's just me based off the name that it's product candy I'm expecting like the sweetest juiciest like yes absolutely I'm thinking like give me juicy couture type nausea when I smell this now mind you some juicy couture fragrances we are here okay I found a little hard um some I get it. Like I get why people, you know, kind of look at Juicy Couture like it's childish that you like that because again, it's like a nauseating type of sweet, right? But like I said, you're called Prada Candy. Like, give me somewhere in the middle of that. Smell that thing. They said, you know, I'm gonna throw a little dash of sweet gourmet, and and the rest is just going to be, I guess, like a, at least to me, like a spicy floral type smell is what I smelled. Like the sweetness is like the last thing that I smelled when I actually smelled that fragrance. I was, and I, again, I was just like, you know when there's a build up to you finally getting to try something, whether you know, you're tasting a food for the first time, smelling a fragrance for the first time because of how hyped it is. And then you actually like smell it, hear it, taste it, whatever. And you're like, oh, that was anticlimactic, but you know, I guess. Okay, and I have one that's like an honorary mention. It's not that it smells bad, but the reason why I, when I smelled it for the first time, I was disappointed is because it smells exactly like another fragrance. And it's like, unless you're specifically going out to find a dupe for a fragrance because you don't want to support the brand that the fragrance is sold by, because you can't, um, you want to find something more affordable uh, than what the original one that you're smelling smells like, I don't want like again it's it's the whole like okay I've already smelled this before type of thing that is the Prada the new Prada paradox you guys have probably seen it like all over the place especially on TikTok I smelled that in Sephora last week again and I think Dre is the one who was like have you smelled this yet because people are talking about it I smell it and immediately I'm like this smells exactly like Armani my way and I love that fragrance I do love my way I didn't uh, smell my way intense until I smelled the original my way and if you are debating between the two get the intense I have the my way the original version I'm waiting for that one to you know finish out and then I'm gonna get the intense but this product smells exactly like my way so much so in the store I said that to Dre and I'm like so you see what this smells like come over here come smell this my way one does it not smell exactly the same she was like yes it smells exactly the same so if you already own my way and you saw Prada all over the place and you're thinking like should I try it should I not go to you already own it unless you just like the bottle now five fragrances that are worth it first one the YSL Libre now my favorite one specifically is the intense version but the Libre Libre intense it was very hard for me to make a decision because there weren't that many differences but absolutely love the smell of that one and it's strong if you want like you don't like mixing fragrances you just want to put one on during the day and then go about your business that one 
absolutely positively loved. And I love that it can be kind of like a unisex type thing. Um, cause I, cause when I thought about it, I'm like, this is something a man walk by, I'm like, okay, okay, you smell, okay. But I also wear that, um, on my body as well. And it's like this kind of floral, but there's like a little spice to it. I, I just got done saying like, I don't really care for those type fragrances. So if I'm saying that I really like it, that means that I really like it. Um, and like I said, the intense version is just like a little more intense than the original. So if you couldn't figure out which one, depending on, uh, like what your budget might be if you're trying to figure out which one you can go with either one and be fine but that one i've seen it in a lot of favorite videos and after i got it i was like okay i understand the second one is the burberry her fragrance and when i say that is probably like my everyday fragrance and i don't uh just like i don't wear just one lipstick i don't usually wear just one fragrance that is going to be incorporated in the mixture of fragrances that i spray one way or another and i also wear fragrance uh in the morning and then to bed and it's like at some point during the day it's being sprayed on my body it absolutely positively has to because it's just such it makes life easy like that type of fragrance where it can be a you can wear it every day you can only wear it for special occasions it's going to get the job done every time that you spray it it's the perfect fruity floral fragrance like just the right amount of sweetness but floral to where it's sophisticated you know it's real it's it's real girly it's really girly <laughs> um i just there's something about it that i love but it i definitely saw it before i tried it it's a very hyped fragrance but like once you try it, it there's a reason for the hype and like i say i i don't wear just one fragrance and it's a fragrance that mixes well with other fragrances because not every fragrance does like some of them they're too um like it would just overpower other fragrances if you mix them together or you mix them together and that mixture just doesn't mix with your body chemistry, I never have a problem mixing that fragrance with other fragrances. The next one, definitely a very hyped fragrance. Definitely you see it in a lot of people's favorite videos. You need to wear it for this, that, and the third. It is Killian Princess. And can I just say, I do not like the new bottles that it comes in. Like the little circle top, like that, that gave it character. That made it cute. Now it's in the same type of bottle that all of them come in and it's like, okay. But the actual fragrance, absolutely. Again, another, I can mix this with anything else and it'll be fine. Another, this could be an everyday fragrance and I'd never get sick of it because it's not too overpowering to where, you know, like it would give me a headache or anything like that. But it's enough where like I walk in the room and you're gonna know that I'm in there. The only problem with that one is that, you know, like if I walk in the room, you gotta notice me quickly <laughs> because it wears off quickly. And then you have to spray it on a little more and more so that you can continue smelling that way. Um, I don't really care about that, but I know other people don't want something that it's gonna wear off quickly. But the actual smell, it's sweet. Um, to me, it smells like marshmallow. Um, it's the other one. I can never remember the name of it. The, the one that everyone says um, is the one that Rihanna wears. It comes in the white bottle. I can't remember, but that one smells like Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles marshmallows. Um, it's a little stronger than Princess. I feel like it's like the older sister. They both kind of give that marshmallow, fruity pebbles type set. But the one in the white bottle, it's a little fruitier. It's a, it's a little, you know, sweeter than Princess. Princess, like I said, it gives like a nice balance. Um, and that's why that one I could wear every single day. The, what is the name of that? It's not Good Girl Gone Bad. It's not. <laughs> Love Don't Be Shy. That one. That one is too sweet and it's strong for me to wear something like that every single day. But Princess gets the job done. Vanilla 28 by Kayali. It's probably like the most popular fragrance from that brand. I own all of Kayali's fragrances just because they're that good. They're strong. Um, the scent, I usually like every one that they come out with. I have some that I prefer more than others. Um, but that one, Vanilla 28, I'm telling you, like, if you want the smell of vanilla, like, you don't want to have to battle between this being vanilla or floral, depending on, like, which way the wind blows, like, just straight up vanilla scent that's going to be strong and long lasting throughout the day. That is exactly what that one's going to do. Absolutely, positively love that one. Now, can that one be an everyday fragrance for me? No, no, it couldn't. As much as I just said like I love it and stuff like that, I don't know if I'd want to smell like that every day. But it's also another one that mixes well with other fragrances. Um, so that one, it gets hype, but it's worth the hype. 
And the last one that is worth the hype. Now, if you watched the first video I did, I mentioned how pretty much, like, Tom Ford fragrances do not smell good. I am so sorry. Like, listen, I know I ruffled a lot of feathers when I said that, but I can't stop the truth from being the truth, okay? Uh, I, and it's another one of those, I feel like y'all like it because of the bottle, the packaging is very cute on those, right? But the one that I have smelled from them that I said absolutely is Lost Cherry. And this is the time of year that like, it's the perfect fragrance for, you know, fall going into winter. Um, it smells like cherries, but it's got a little like spiciness to it. It's a strong fragrance. Um, so, and it doesn't really mix that well with other fragrances. You gotta, you gotta really like play around with it. Like that's something I could mix with Vanilla 28 and it'll smell good. But then like I might mix it with Vanilla Bourbon and there's just something about it. Vanilla Bourbon by a uh, mixed bar, is that what it's called? Mixed bar. Um, and it's just, they don't play that well together. But if you were going to try getting into Tom Ford fragrances and you don't know where to, where to start because it is a very hyped uh, line of fragrances start with lost cherry because I started with bitter peach and I was ready to say absolutely not to any other fragrance that y'all recommend from them I've tried the black one can't remember what the smell of uh, what the name of it is no I just no I don't like any of those Tom Ford ones but lost cherry it is a very hyped fragrance and it's worth the hype is it worth the amount that it costs I would definitely start out with the travel size and then determine that yourself all right, y'all, so that is it for this video. I think there's like a one honorable mention. I think I've said this before in like other videos talking about fragrances, but I'm gonna say it again. Versace also does not make good fragrances, okay? Debate your mama. So that is it for this video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about the fragrances that I talked about in this video and some other fragrances that you just see social media talking about that where you're like, absolutely not. And some other ones that are your go-to that you see them, they're hyped, and they are worth the hype. Let us know because we are all always looking for new recommendations. And yeah, make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn notification bells down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.